To solve this problem, first we construct a free body diagram for the point where all the cables are tied together. Constructing a free body diagram just means that we effectively isolate the point under consideration from its surroundings and then draw all the forces that are acting through that point. The forces or tensions in the cables are labelled T1, T2, T3 respectively. Notice that the tension in the vertical cable T3 must be equal and opposite to the weight of the traffic light since the traffic light is in equilibrium and therefore the resultant force on it must be zero. T3 is therefore equal to 100 newtons. The point where all the cables are tied together, in other words the point for which we have drawn the free body diagram, is also in equilibrium. And so again the resultant force acting at this point must be zero. Now we resolve each of the forces into its x and y components. T1x is equal to minus T1 cos 37 degrees. Notice the negative sign here because this component is directed along the negative x axis. T1y is equal to T1 sine 37 degrees. T2x is equal to T2 cos 53 degrees and T2y is equal to T2 sine 53 degrees. T3x equals 0 because T3 has no horizontal component. T3y is equal to minus 100 newtons. Again, notice the minus sign because T3y is acting vertically downwards along the negative y axis. From the condition for equilibrium, the sum of all the x components must be equal to 0. So the sum of fx is equal to minus t1 cos 37 degrees plus t2 cos 53 degrees plus 0, which equals 0. That's equation 1. And the sum of all the y components must be equal to 0. The sum of fy is equal to t1 sine 37 degrees plus t2 sine 53 degrees minus 100 which again must equal zero, that's equation two. From equation one, T2 cos 53 degrees is equal to T1 cos 37 degrees. T2 is equal to T1 cos 37 degrees divided by cos 53 degrees, which is equal to 1.33 T1. Substituting into equation two, we have that T1 sine 37 degrees plus 1.33 T1 sine 53 degrees is equal to 100. And it follows that T1 is equal to 60 newtons. T2 is just equal to 1.33 T1, which is equal to 79.8 newtons.